Hello, I'm Cameron Best. Workers had to be freed from a mass of pallets at a Geelong West business. At least 20 people were involved in frantic efforts to free the men. See our dramatic pictures and get the latest on the rescue effort in Friday's Geelong Advertiser. In other news, and a shortage of childcare places is taking its toll on families in Geelong and down the coast. We look at some of the worst hit areas and explore what's happening with our childcare system. The Guinness World Record holder for having body tattoos is working in Geelong. He tells us what his obsession with tattoos is all about and the pictures have to be seen to be believed. A woman who set fire to her former lover's home has walked free from court. The woman does not have to pay for the damage to the Housing Commission home and has also avoided jail. Now we all know the Geelong CBD has its issues but research shows that the major retail strips in the suburbs are booming. Retail property owners like in areas like the popular Packington Street are now demanding higher rents than in the CBD. To local footy now and our senior writer Danny Lannan looks at the rise of South Barwon as a local footy powerhouse on the eve of the Swans grand final match against Bell Park. We also preview Sunday's big game in our 16 page Addy Footy Fix lift out. Of course we have plenty of news on the Cats and we take a look at their lineup to take on the Eagles on Saturday and have a great piece with the Cats veteran David Wojcinski who looks back at his career. There's also a free Go Cats poster, perfect for the window of your house or business. So get into finals fever and get your Geelong advertiser on Friday.